Today we are going to go a little more casual, a little more vlog style, to show you a little bit of what we are going to be doing today. We decided that we are going to increase our front yard here where we're at. We're only down to two sheep now, and so we are in the sheep pasture. And only having two sheep, we have more than enough for them to eat. So we are going to reclaim some of our front yard. First off, Sam is going to be taking down this gate and we're going to put it up at the barn so the sheep can't get in to where we're going to be because they can get out and that wouldn't be fun. So here we go. Everybody's in the shot. Yay! All right, the sheep are all locked up in the barn and the second pasture. Now we can go ahead and start tearing into this fence, opening it up, and not run the risk of the sheep escaping and then us chasing them all around the neighborhood. That's not fun. Nope. We've done it before. Not fun. We're going to take the fence down, lay it on the driveway, pull up the post, put the post in the new spot, and put the fence back up. We'll try and save the clips if we can, but they are six years old, so we'll have to see as we go. Any of you fenceologists out there are probably screaming and dying right now to see that that's your corner post. That's what you guys did? Yeah, it's what we did. We didn't know much about fencing six years ago when we did this, so that's what we did. I mean, it's still standing after this many years. Uh, that's probably largely in part to the fact that it's only ever held sheep and they are not fence testers like cattle can be. But we know now that's not right, so don't worry. We we're not going to repeat that mistake. Although where we're putting the fence, we're not going to have another gate. So don't get your hopes up. We're not doing big eight inch wood posts, H braces or anything here. This is a very, we don't want to spend much money. We'll reuse what we can and it'll be good enough. Again, cause this is for sheep, not cattle. it up. There we go. Got the folder. Cool. We'll go on to the next. Push all the way at the end. You gotta get to the very end of your lever. <laughs> Here, let me help you. It trying to get that one out. It's 
quite some roots around it. Saw it break at the end. Uh, I'm about to break at the end. Maybe that one's not as bad. There you go. You're getting it. You're getting it. All right, ratchet it up. There you go. Do I get to do any? I think it's the most fun project to do when it's 95 degrees outside, you know? You want to be working on the floor inside? It's air conditioned inside. Mm-hmm. It is. <laughs> 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 oh, that's one with the ant's nest. Nice. All in all, that wasn't too bad. Uh, the T-Post Puller is by far worth its weight in gold because otherwise, I don't know how anybody's getting those things out of the ground. The clips mostly broke, so we're going to have to go buy more clips from the store a little bit later. But what we're going to do next is run, for us it's a string line, um, okay it's a drop cord, but it's going to run from the corner of the house down to where we're going to pull the fence up to give us a straight line to install all the T-Posts on. This is right on top of the septic. We don't want to do that. Now we gotta pull all this excess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you'll be on the end of this and just walk, as I pull it, you can walk it out. I'll walk it out. No, I am Spartacus. Anybody else out there enjoying this? Walk it out. Apparently, this is the thing you wanna do when it's 93 degrees. In the summer, we'll go put a fence up. Sounds like fun. Not fun. Every 
everybody's having, having fun, fun, fun. Yeah, all right. Part of the project, we're all contemplating ways to off each other and get away with it. No. <laughs> this has actually not been bad. What the heck? We trade jobs. I think we're gluttons for punishment. This is the face of me. me? I don't have anything to say. <laughs> uh, waiting in the van for the family to come on out. We're going to go to Tractor Supply and get some more fence clips. We have some somewhere, but it's just easier to go grab some more while we're doing this project rather than stop and look forever and get frustrated and end up not finding them to begin with. So let's load up the family and the family truckster. Oh, I'm sorry. You guys want in? And let's hit the road. We are now on our way to Tractor Supply to get a pack of fence clips. Shouldn't take but one pack since we only have about, what did you say, eight? Yes, eight posts. Eight posts to do. So, shouldn't be too bad. I think we might need to pick up another pair of pliers too. Yeah, I, I want to get one of those fence clip tools, see if they work or not. The little things I you agree. see on Instagram. Oh, uh, the little flick it around here and there. And, yeah. All right, see you later. We're back from the store that supplies tractors, known as Tractor Supply. Got our fence clips, and we're gonna slap these on these T-posts, trim the fence, and just about call this thing done. We did not get that fancy little fence clip thing. That tool was way too expensive for what we wanted to spend today, but I shot a clip of it so you guys can see what I was thinking about, and you can also see at the price that they want for it. I decided, nah, our pliers are good enough. We're down here at the what's the new corner of the fence what we're going to do is i want to have the fence i'm going to pull it and stretch it as good as i can while angela clips it in place to the t-posts we're not going to be stretching this like you normally would with a high tensile field fence install because we don't have proper corner posts with h braces and we don't need to stretch it for this application again we're just holding back sheep not big cows or large livestock so we're able to get away with this in our case We have the fence connected all the way up to the little last piece and now we have the regular or the excess fence we're going to go ahead and roll it up and bring it out so it's on the outside of the fence because otherwise you got to go through the barn and there's a bunch of poop and yeah we don't want that once we get everything cleaned up out of this yard behind us we'll then finish out the fence which is going to wrap around that wood post and over on the t-post back there behind it kind of uh i don't know wrapping it up literally wrap it up I see you let the chickens out. Yes. That was a, another reason that we're doing this, that, I mean, I don't know if you told them or not, but another reason we've done all this fence work is we have got the chicken coop set up to where they can only get into the sheep yard because, let's face it, big chickens leave big surprises all in the yard, and they seem to love doing that surprise dropping in the playground. So we had some fencing up, put it on the porch back here, but they were um, escape artists, still got out, so. We'll uh, wish them good luck on figuring out how to get out this time. Very much so. They can fly. I guess they can fly because their wings are not clipped or anything. But they're big girls. I don't think they'll try and fly out. But right now they are doing perimeter patrol at the fence thinking, what the heck? Where's our property? What is this? And we'll see. <laughs> We have the push mower down here. I'm gonna go ahead and mow the edge that we couldn't get without weed eating. And then you're hitting the fence and it's annoying. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it look clean. While you do that, I will pick up T-posts and clean up our mess. Let's go!
this sweet eater. I guess we need to talk about it, don't we? Yep. Take a break. What have I got here? That's right. We have another new tool. Uh, for those who follow our channel closely, you will have seen recently how we got a hedge trimmer that we bought that is cordless, same Craftsman brand, and we used it for trimming everything. Well, not long after getting it, and some of you out there were like, I knew it, told you so, I knowed it. We realized that it really wasn't that fun to use for a trimming, like weed eating trimming. So we stuck this on our list to get, but one of our viewers beat us to it. Thank you. In case you guys don't know, when we say we have an Amazon list down below, that's a list that we ourselves are going to buy. It's like a, a running shopping list for us, but we also open it to people who choose to maybe get something here and there. So by all means, is it not just a pamper us list? It's literally a running list of things we want to get. So we, I'm about to weed eat my toes. <laughs> so we have the Craftsman Cordless Weed Eater, and this thing is awesome. It is um, some model that I don't remember, but I'll put a link to it down below if you're interested. This one's really cool. It is cordless, same batteries as my tools, and it is adjustable in length. If you notice this thing looking kind of ugly, that was a microfiber cloth I taped in place watching one of Difference videos. They have a Dewalt weed eater, or they used to have it, and they had problems with the motor burning up. So a little bit of preventative steps there. Otherwise, this thing's been great. We've been using it for about a week, maybe two, and it's great. I don't know how else to say it's great. But don't just take my word for it, because there's someone else who really has been using it more than any of us, and I'll let him talk about it. So this is much better than the hedge trimmer, because one, it you don't have to push back, because um, the head's really heavy, and you can go really quick through cutting through little grass and stuff. like. But the hedge trimmer is good for like little areas, like if you have really thick um, tree branches, you can cut through it. How long do the batteries last? Mm, on this one? Yeah. Um, about two hours. E even the four amp hour, it does, I burn through it in one day. I hardly in one day. Yeah, you're probably blowing minds out there. Four amp hour. What does that mean? What do you mean by four amp hour? Um. It's a very large battery. The 2 amp hour, uh, I can go through those very really quick. This one takes a little bit longer, but I can in about 4 hours. <laughs> You're going to be a tool reviewer. Just you wait. Good job. So like Elijah said, the 4 amp hour battery does last pretty good time. Although, honestly, for all of our property to do the whole thing, you can just about get it done in one but we have several batteries since we have the cordless tools and that's great. Well, I would say we are done. We have moved the fence. The sheep have been let loose, the chickens are loose and they're not loose loose, they're just out of the barn. Yeah, they have their free reign. So how does it feel having this much of our yard back? It's amazing. We've like hardly ever had this much of our property. We put the fence up very soon after moving here. Um, we drove back from the store and pulling up the driveway it was just like oh my goodness look at it it's so big <laughs> very very different very cool though so this will allow us um, to put bushes in front of the house if we want to um, we couldn't before because the sheep would eat them right um, we can do fruit trees we can do flowers we can do anything we want to in the front all sorts of room for activities well we still have more fence to take down up there at the cars but we're not going to show that on video because honestly we're going to go inside and take a break for a while either way that concludes the fun that we will bring you guys along for for today's fencing adventure yes if you have any questions or comments leave them for us down below anything uh, you're interested in or want to see let us know see you guys next time on the homestead bye bye <laughs>